Stop right there. Before you spend a single dollar on a new Mac Mini, you need to hear this. Because what looks like a smart upgrade today could turn into one of those purchases you regret way sooner than expected. Apple's best value Mac is about to level up in a way most people are not ready for. The Mac Mini M5 leaks are starting to paint a very clear picture. And that picture is telling one story loud and clear. Waiting might be the smartest move you make this year. Right now, the M4 Mac Mini looks like the perfect machine. It is small. It is fast. It is quiet. It fits almost any desk setup. And on paper, it feels like the best balance of price and performance Apple has ever offered in a desktop. For a lot of users, it feels like the obvious choice. And that is exactly why this moment matters. Because Apple is about to pull the same move it has done before. Release something good. Let people rush in. Then quietly drop something much better at the same price not long after. The M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be that moment. And once you understand what Apple is changing, the M4 suddenly starts to feel like the warm-up, not the main event. Let's be honest for a second. The M4 Mac Mini is not a bad machine. It is actually very good. It handles daily work with ease. It edits video smoothly. It runs creative apps without breaking a sweat. But the problem is not what the M4 can do today. The problem is how fast it may feel limited once the M5 arrives. Apple's chip roadmap is moving faster than ever. Each generation is no longer about small speed bumps. It is about shifting how computers think, process, and handle tasks. And with the M5, Apple is going all in on two things that will define the next decade of computing. Artificial intelligence and graphics performance. This is not about opening apps a second faster. This is about machines that can process AI tasks locally. Real-time image generation. On-device voice processing. Smart automation. Advanced photo and video tools that do not rely on the cloud. Apple wants these features baked directly into the chip. And the M5 is rumored to be the first Mac mini chip designed from the ground up with that future in mind. One of the biggest changes expected with the M5 is efficiency. Not just speed, but how cool and quiet the machine stays under pressure. Early leaks suggest Apple has pushed power efficiency so far that the base M5 Mac Mini may run cooler than anything before it. Quiet enough that it barely needs active cooling. For many users, that means a truly silent desktop that can still handle serious workloads. But the real shock comes when you look at graphics. For years, Apple has struggled here. Integrated graphics were fine for basic work, but gamers, 3D artists, and heavy video editors always felt left out. Even when Apple Silicon improved things, GPU performance was still the weak point for many pro workflows. The M5 is rumored to change that narrative in a big way. The base chip alone is expected to feature 12 GPU cores. That is a noticeable jump. Around 20% better graphics performance right out of the gate. And this is not just a number. It translates into smoother timelines in 4K editing. Faster exports. Better performance in 3D apps like Blender. More stable gaming performance. Less dropped frames. Less stutter. For the first time, the Mac Mini may feel genuinely capable for users who previously had a compromise or look elsewhere. And when you combine that GPU boost with smarter AI-driven processing, the M5 starts to feel less like a small desktop and more like a compact workstation. Now let's talk about the two areas where Apple has received the most criticism over the years. Storage and memory. This is where a lot of people feel burned. Buying a great machine, only to realize too late that the base configuration is holding them back. The M4 Mac Mini starting with 256 gigabytes of storage feels outdated in today's world, especially for a machine aimed at creators and professionals. That space disappears fast. Video files, photos, apps, cache files, it adds up. And upgrading storage through Apple is expensive. This is where the M5 rumors get very interesting. Multiple sources suggest Apple may finally raise the base storage to 512 gigabytes. That alone changes the value equation completely. No more immediate external drives. No more juggling space on day one. Just a machine that feels usable out of the box. Memory is another potenti. Alwin, 
While nothing is officially confirmed, there is strong speculation that the M5 Mac Mini will start with higher base RAM options, possibly 16 gigabytes as standard, maybe even a 24 gigabyte configuration for higher tiers. That matters more than most people realize. More memory means better multitasking, smoother performance over time, better longevity, a machine that still feels fast years from now. This is the difference between a computer that ages well and one that starts to feel slow long before it should. And here's the part that really makes people stop and think. Price. All signs point to Apple keeping the Mac Mini aggressively priced. The base M5 Mac Mini is expected to start around the same point as the M4, around $599, with higher-end versions landing in the premium tier, but still competitive for what they offer. Think about that for a moment. More power, better graphics, more storage, more memory, stronger AI capabilities, all at roughly the same price. That is not a small upgrade. That is a value reset. Timing is also important. According to current leaks, the M5 Mac Mini could arrive by late 2025 or early 2026. That is not far away. And when it lands, it is expected to redefine what people expect from a compact desktop. This is not just about faster browsing or smoother office work. This is about machines that can handle the next wave of software. AI-assisted creative tools, real-time processing, smarter operating systems. Apple is clearly preparing Mac OS for a future where the chip does more thinking on your behalf. And the M5 is rumored to be built exactly for that future. So what should you do right now? That depends on your situation. If your current computer is failing, if your workflow is suffering today, if you genuinely need a machine right now, the M4 Mac Mini is still a solid choice. It will serve you well. No question about that. But if you can wait, even a few months, the M5 Mac Mini looks like the smarter long-term investment. It is shaping up to be a machine that stays relevant for five years or more. A machine that feels modern longer. A machine that does not box you into limitations too quickly. In my honest opinion, the M5 Mac Mini could become one of Apple's best products in years. Not because it is flashy. Not because it is expensive. But because it finally delivers the balance people have been asking for. Power. Efficiency, value, longevity, all in one small box. Apple seems to understand that the Mac Mini is not just a budget Mac. It is the entry point for creators, developers, students, professionals, people who want real performance without paying workstation prices. And with the M5, Apple appears ready to take that role seriously again. If these leaks turn out to be even mostly accurate, the M5 Mac Mini will not just be an upgrade. It will be the Mac Mini perfected, and it is coming sooner than most people think. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video with someone who is thinking about buying a new Mac, and hit the bell icon so you never miss the latest leaks and updates.